Mm, okay, I get it. Yeah. Uh, the stout that I got was made from a, uh, a Dallas brewery. Mm-hmm. It is smoky and delicious. Very cool. All right, guys. So, um, you know, it's the next day. Uh, what's our plan? Well, how do we get a get a hold of this Dinsley character? <clears throat> And, and what is the general plan? I mean, are you guys going to roll up on the place and kick heads in? Are you trying to walk up and be civil? Um, sneak in? What's what's the thing? Um, I'm going to be civil. Okay. Yeah, and, you know, like, I'm going to come from the swamp, but Charlie's always civil, so like... I don't even know why that's a question. In the Gordon is always civil in the beginning. <clears throat> yeah, we all escalate oh. to violence. Dang it. Hang on, I messed up bad. Uh... This true Mason roll us breath. Damn. Now I clicked a thing accidentally. And it took me to the wrong page. Or it took me off roll 20, so let me reload in a second. Oh, it's going to screw up all my tabs. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck dies. Okay, so you guys are going to try and uh, talk your way into this. So, is it the three of you together? Yeah, and I think, so I don't know where he hangs out, but right. everyone, everyone stops by at Hessian's Tacos. Okay, so you're going to try and get information about him or, or catch him there? Yeah, catch him at Hessian's. I think you've, you've definitely never seen him there, but you might be able to get a hold of somebody who, who may know where he is or something. Yeah. And all three of you are... Sitting around the taco shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Well, continuing to eat tacos. Well, now we come to the question of Bombing and Philmont. Did you fill them in on this plan? Yeah. Sure. Why not? And Gorlin, did you did you tell them to be alone? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Keep an eye on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I will also strongly suggest we fire them because I'm tired of them. Especially, especially a few months. <clears throat> well, if we fire them, we have to pay them. If they uh, die in the swamp, I, I tell you this. We can pay them with the cows we stole because that's all the loot we got. That's true. Fair enough. So I say we give them the cows and tell them to fuck off back to wherever they came from. <laughs> Maybe this is a bit harsh. I know that we wanted to get their weapons before, but at least feel mad. I hate that guy. I hate what that guy. You... It's up to you guys. <laughs> I well, Philmont is yours, is your hireling, Gorlin, and Bamin is Chuck's. So, yeah, what do you, what do you, what do you do? I mean, you guys can definitely come to an agreement of some kind and both fire them or both keep them on, but you can also act independently. I think, I think, as a civilized no, is the most important to put it on the table. <clears throat> okay. What do you say, Chuck, then? Are you on with his well, plan to get rid of him? How about this, right? Because I, I think you're right. Like, Philmont's kind of a dick. Pretty big dick. I don't like him. <laughs> um, <laughs> Bamin hasn't been that bad, so what if we just fire Philmont? 
And we keep Amin for the, the part of the adventure we actually need her for. Yes, yes. Because now we have Heracles, so I don't think anything is going to, you know. There is also the possibility of, of blaming everything on him for he yeah. have the stolen cows. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's so much I hate the fuck. <laughs> But I mean, as a Sestani, I let Heracles also guide my will. What do you say, Heracles? Yeah, if the, the guy they're talking about, right, he's the one that has the gun and went stir crazy. Oh, well, they both have guns. They both have guns. The second, the second part, yes. Yeah. Well, he, he's the the one that murdered most of the people, really, and, and murdered them all. Yeah. Apart yeah. From the one that, apart from the slow guy that I killed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, so Gorlin, it seems like you've been tossing this over. For a while, yeah. and turning this around in your head. Let me have you roll plus wisdom. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, there's been something fishy the whole time. Now that you think about it. And now that you think about it, there was something up with that blacksmith. Or what happened to the blacksmith. He's the one who told you the blacksmith went crazy. Right? And the blacksmith was dead by his hand. I don't, know oh that you've, God. I don't know that you've put any more together than that, you know, and you can come to your own conclusions and stuff, but but yeah, something's been up with that guy ever since the start, and it was before the the killing of all the, the ranchers. Mm. I'm going to bring that up to the group then, I'm going to say. Yeah. It seems like there's been some kind of sabotage, and uh, somebody's trying to, to not let us pacify the frog folk. Yeah. The animal deserve death. Or some time in jail. At least. So so what do you say, Heracles? You you seemed like you were gonna say, yeah, let's get rid of him. Yeah. At first I don't trust a guy with a gun that is trigger happy behind my back. If you're going to throw it on top, it's like, oh yeah, this guy. He killed this one guy and said he went crazy. I'm definitely going to... I'm going to tell you, I don't want either of them. Right. Because if one's involved, maybe the other one's involved, it's better to cut both. I like the way you think, Heracles. Very, very intelligent. Cool. So it sounds like Philmont's gone. Our Chuck, are you? What's that? You get the final say about bombing? Is she gone also? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Right, because they're probably in cahoots. Seems like it. Okay. Well, both of you roll plus loyalty for him. You tell him take some cows and go screw off. You have your swords. Yeah, all right, guys. So they're gone the next day. Nothing. Nothing immediately. They don't make any demands of you. Um, they don't actually take any cows. Um, they do take their swords, of course. Uh, but that's that's about it for them. They're gone. Cool. You, you don't see them the next day. They're just gone. <clears throat> Uh, 
All right, cool. So we're at the taco stand. We've gotten rid of those two, and the three of us are scouting the place out. So, like I said, you don't see, you've never seen in your couple of days here, Heracles, you've never seen Denzeli come to the taco stand. Um, you've, you see people around, and certainly people from the docks and whatnot. Um, how are you guys going about getting information or anything? With civility. <laughs> mm. With civility, that's the hard part. Or without, I mean, you know. I mean, I'm going to keep talking to my, my good buddy, Haseem. Haseem's okay. in the know. Okay. Going up to him one day, it's like, we've been looking around for... I already forgot his name. Densley? Densley. We, we're looking for Densley, and I have not seen him around. Uh, does any of his friends stop around here? Okay, so you're you're chatting up Hasim. Uh Gorlin and Chuck, are you guys doing anything any different? Um yeah. So so there's there's people who like go out to harvest the swamp grass, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Merchant merchant sailors. Yeah. Yeah. I, but but like they've got like like plebs who do the actual harvesting, right? Probably. I mean, I mean, whatever the breakdown is, I don't think there's an or, official... Or sailors or something, you know. I want to find guys that that work on Denzeli's ship sure. that aren't, like, high up, right? Yeah. Okay. And, Gorlin, what are you doing? I'm going to go to a local... Um, a local party house or like a club or some sort of an inn that like you have a higher clientele and I'm going to do two things one is I'm going to try to sell my personal feasts okay second I'm going to ask about ask if he comes here to have his chow okay so you're going to go to the Copacabana and try to sell them your backyard barbecue <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's like four days old. All right. I mean, that's that's cool. Uh, you can still make a stew <laughs> for, for the servants. That's a point. That's a point you make. That's a point you make. You can still make a stew out of it. It's still good. Um, okay, that's good. So, Heracles, that's definitely uh, parlay. You're parlaying with Hasim. Um, and Chuck, you are discerning realities, so plus wisdom from you. Um, Gorlin, you're going to have to defy danger charisma just to get into the door. You are a smelly road traveler. <clears throat> All right, seven to nines all around. Perfect. So, Shali, let's uh, let's ask one question from Discern Realities real quick. Just to set um, things off here. What should I be on the lookout for, I guess? Okay. So we haven't described the, the taco arena. Um, it's Hasim's taco arena, by the way, I think. Um, I don't know why. Uh, because, well, I'll tell you why. Because the area, he's got his little building there where he's cooking um, everything. And there are tables laid out, but they're not like big, long, square, like picnic tables. They're all circular stone tables. And this area looks like it was actually meant for something else um, at one point or another. And these stone tables, or whatever they were before... Um, well, I'll tell you, they actually look like they were maybe columns of some kind, like they supported a building, and they've been chiseled away, right? 
maybe the a lot of the columns collapsed at one point and they just like chiseled them down and chiseled away at them until they were sort of a table shape. And there are wooden chairs around, but these columns actually are in the sort of brick that's around you. And it's all this pretty well, I mean, it's it's sturdy brick. It's definitely old, the streets are. And uh, this was apparently maybe inside of something. This was maybe an inside place at one point. Uh, but it's now an outside place, so it's the stuff's a little worn away. Um, and there's a lot of foot traffic that comes through here. Uh, what you should be on the lookout for is, yeah, you see a group of, of uh, questionable-looking um, sailors come walking up. And, well, they look just like the sort you're looking for, right? Um, they don't look like they're incredibly rich or wealthy. They're wearing pretty poor clothing. And they're definitely sailors. And if they aren't connected to Denzeli, they may, you know, they may be the sort who would pal around with those kinds, uh, those kinds of, of people. Um, what you should be on the lookout for is that they are armed. They've got, they've got devilish looks in their eyes. They have daggers at their hips. Um, and there's probably a group of five of them and two of them have pistols underneath their cloaks. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, you know, they, they order some food and they've gathered around a table and they're being sort of loud and, and, uh, rambunctious, um, and obscene. Um, <clears throat> so I think Heracles, you notice these guys too. I mean, they come up to the, the cooking area. It's not really a truck, but it's a little building there. And they order loudly and rudely. Um, and Hasim, I mean, there's rude sailors and working people come through all the time. So he doesn't, he barely pays attention to somebody being an ass and hooks them up with their food and sends them along their way. Now, how do you ask? I should have gotten this before, but how exactly do you ask him? You, well, you did say, right? Like you. You said you're looking for Denzeli and you want to know where he is and where to find him, right? Yeah. He says, um, well, he says, you, you look like, uh, he says, now I, I know you to be a, 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 a nice customer. Uh, but, and he kind of looks you over, right? Um, bearing your weapons and the way you hold yourself. And he says, but, uh, but if you're looking for Denzeli, there's two possibilities. Work or revenge. He says, if I send you after work, that's one thing. He says, if I send you after revenge, that's another. That comes back on me. So, I'm going to need a promise. Well, he needs more than a promise. He needs assurance. He says, what, what, what can you do for me that lets me know that you aren't just going there to kill the man? Yeah. 
Uh, Look out the door. <laughs> So the dog tooth spear doesn't look like it. It looks like a spear with a tooth on it. <clears throat> yeah. But probably while he's saying this, maybe he takes a look at my hip, and there's this goddamn blade, like the nightmare blade. Mm -hmm. So, I I get this blade and I take it off and I wrap it to him. As assurance, keep my blade. Um, okay, so you want him to take the blade but let you keep your spear. <clears throat> yeah. That'll be fine. He'll deal with that. He says... I mean, he eyes your spear, right? Yeah. It's another weapon in your hands. And he says... Um, he'll, he'll be fine with that. But he'll only tell you if you go alone. Oh, go alone too. Yeah. I if see. you if you keep the spear, you go alone. Otherwise, you can give up all your weapons. And and he'll just tell you. Or at least the spear also. I mean, I don't know how many other weapons you're carrying. I said all your weapons, but do you have like a dagger or something? Well, I have these. 24 inch pythons <laughs> right right yeah I mean that's, that's what he's saying is like you're dangerous enough enough alone alone right okay you've got this crazy looking sword it looks well made and possibly magical um, and that's that's well and good um, but you know he's a he's a right he deals in rumors and things he knows he knows you could be up to something still, right? And it's like, oh, just take my real weapon. I'll just keep my fake weapon, right? Um, which he'll 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 play play the fool on, right? If you go alone, <clears throat> but you have to go alone. None of your yeah, friends, think, right? I think that's like, oh, you no, like definitely, like here's my weapons. Oh, okay. It's like I see him I'm shooting straight. I thought he meant like. I thought I was going to go swordless this entire adventure. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, he'll he'll tell you where the place is to have a meeting. But yeah, if you give him all your weapons, he'll tell you. He yeah. says, "Okay." He says, "All right, we, you and I, we have an accord." And he takes your sword and your spear and like puts them inside the building. And he says, um, "Nobody will get after these." He says, um, "Okay." He's in the docks. There's an old warehouse. Um, sort of ramshackled. It's got a, a brass roof. Um, yeah, I mean, he gives you a couple of road signs to pick out the place. It's kind of a ratty old warehouse with a weird weird brass roof on it that you can't miss. Um, so, Chuck... Yep. What are you doing about these guys? Um. What am I doing about these guys? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, like, they're sitting at, like, a table or whatever, right? Yeah. Um. And I think I'll, like, like walk up. And sit at their table. Okay. So you just go sauntering up and have a seat. <clears throat> yeah, me and Louie. You and Louie. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, they definitely all, like, stop and see you come up. Do you have, like, a chair with you? Or do you just sit no, in somebody else's I, chair when they're... Yeah, 
no, no, I, I find like the biggest one. Yeah. I'm like, no, 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 you, you must see. <laughs> yeah, he calls seat check immediately. <laughs> um and uh okay so they they definitely all stop and they watch you walk up and just sit down and you've got an alligator and their eyebrows raise at that um a couple of them like sort of like you know get their belt. What the hell is this shit uh <laughs> And, uh, yeah, one of them eventually pipes up, seems like maybe the ringleader or whatever. He says, uh, well, can I help you? Well, <clears throat> you know, like, I, I come from the, from the swamp, but it's like a, a different swamp, and, and in that swamp, uh, you introduce yourself first. So, like, my name is Charlie, and this is, this is my gator, Louie. And and we's looking, we's looking for the man named Denzeli. We got some business with him, and I like hold up the writ. Like I don't show them like his folder or whatever, uh, and I like wave that in his face. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, so you you like wave this thing down, and he kind of looks at and you could see his face sort of contort when he sees you've got some kind of document with Denzeli's name on it and stuff and he probably catches the word unigator on it um yeah let's have you parlay <laughs> oh boy if you have a move um, that lets you use threats uh you know you're you doing that for sure <laughs> i mean i don't okay it's okay, I have a lucky charm. There we go. Okay. So how does your how does your luck kick in here? You 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 wave this thing and and I guess yeah, they're starting to look nervous and worried for a second. How do you like save this? How does your foolishness save you here? Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I like flop it down and they kinda look like like worried and stuff. Yeah. Um Oh, how does my foolishness save me? <clears throat> so, 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 so they were like looking nervous and worried, like, like they were scared of me, or they were scared that of Denzeli. Um, generally worried about what you're waving around and the fact that oh, you're okay. with a 15 foot alligator all the things yeah yeah okay yeah so so yeah i think i'll i'll say that um i'll flop it down and be like so oh, i don't know Well, maybe if you aren't as scary, or you you don't you seem to be not as scary. Yeah. You, yeah. You turn out to not to look not as scary as you seemed at first. Yeah. Oh yeah, I totally like I flop it down and they're all like worried and stuff. And you, like raise a hold. hand and extend a pinky and just start picking my nose. <laughs> like like really getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh yeah and they and um sure you get way up in there but it gets lodged way back so you've got to like snot rocket it out um and it it's just like 45 seconds of you just trying to get one one little booger bear up there <laughs> like, uh and it's it's awkward and it breaks the ice pretty solidly uh <clears throat> And they say, um, well, you, you shouldn't be waving that sort of thing around in public. Um, what's your, what's your business? We need to know. <clears throat> Man, what if I, me, me and Louie here is in 
We's in the security business, especially when it comes coming coming to the swamp. You know, swamps they is a dangerous place, and like we know the swamps and we know the people in the swamps. We real good at killing them. He says that. Oh, yeah, and he he looks pointedly down at the note again. He says about the swamp then. Yeah. And they all sort of look knowingly at each other. And he, he says, um, Where'd you get that? Well, like I said, me and Louis, we's real good at killing people in the swamp. And uh, <clears throat> there was these uh, bandits, and, and, and they, they done said, like, we're we going to kill you unless you give us all your money. And I was like... <laughs> Okay. And, and then Louis Dunn at one of them, and I killed the other one. And we was going through their bags and found this piece of paper. So now, obviously, this Mr. Densley, he's either hiring incompetent security type folk, and they're trying to rob people, and they're bad at it, or the people he's hiring to move these, and I say it like really loud, right, to make them more uncomfortable, move these unigators around. Yeah, ain't doing no good job of that neither. Yeah, and he's like, hold, hold up, hold up, okay, <laughs> okay. Um, and he says, you you killed these men in the swamp, or? I it was it was lots of mud in the place and pretty swampy. Yeah. He said, where did you kill them? It, w- it was muddy and swampy, like I said. We we don't we don't subscribe to your to your formal maps. Okay, well let's say you did. Oh, you know, somewhere, somewhere between, oh, uh, somewhere between uh, here and uh, <clears throat> and the Osman Empire, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> he says maybe. Yeah, you know, w- when you're in the swamp, your location becomes kind of. Ambiguous at best. Okay. Now, now you asking a lot of questions for someone whose name ain't Densley. Um. He says, "If you want to meet him, we can set up a meeting." But you're gonna give me that note. <clears throat> hmm. So. So now, like, if in I I was to not to do that. He says, well, "You can screw off and let us finish our lunch." Is uh is is Heracles and Gorlin around? Uh, Gorlin is at the Cabana Club or whatever. Right, uh, right, right. <laughs> Heracles, I think, is still dealing with um. Uh, din- uh with uh, Hasim at this point. I mean, you could get his attention pretty quick. You could be like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm not. I, yeah. I'm not worried. Okay. So like. <clears throat> uh. Oh, I totally. I want to talk to Louis, right? Sure. Um, I'll be like, "Hey, yo, Louis, what you, what you think about this goblin shit?" <laughs> uh, and I don't really care what he says, right? Yeah. Um. Because <laughs> Sam, I was like, oh, you you just want to? He starts to. Yeah, he starts. Think he looks real tasty. Oh, hungry. this is. Yeah. Oh, you doing one of them? Okay. Yeah, you, you think he looked real tasty? Well, like, nah, nah, nah. I can't, I can't let you eat him. He's, he's a valuable business associate of mine. And then I look back at the dude. Why you always gotta make... be mischaracterizing me? <laughs> <laughs> I look back at the dude and I like make like pointed eye contact, and it's like, he's... that's right. Okay. Um. 
So he's telling you, you got to give me the note, and you're answering back with, like, you know, I'll just kill you if you don't do what I say. It's, it's more like, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's that. Well... Hmm. So if that's the path you're going to take with it, then the first thing that they would do, they're either going to like attack you, right? Or break off or just flee now. Just get the hell out, right? Because they're they're you rolled a 7 on the parlay, right? So their their proof that they need is that note. Um but let's see. So I think you're gonna be, I think you're gonna be defying danger. Um, you're sort of eye on the law in them, I guess. Uh, <laughs> even though you don't have that move. <laughs> oh, I'm getting that move now. I don't care what I have to do. <laughs> Swamp law. Um. <clears throat> oh, you probably should have had his had his cunning to your first roll, but that still would have been a nine. Okay. You're going to have to defy danger of charisma. The six mm -hmm. minus is that they attack you now. Yeah. So uh, can, can Louis help? I think his instinct is interfering with you. That's more likely to, to frighten them into attacking you now. Louis. Well, I mean, you're the one who's like, my gator going to eat you. And he's like, you know, they just going to shoot her. <laughs> so defy danger with your charisma let's see if we start a a taco fight um okay a minus one on that still a seven so yeah they just sort of pack up their tacos right and they they're like uh they say um Do they leave it open? <laughs> no, they, they're just going to get the hell out, right? Um, they just start backing off. They don't say a word. All of them just sort of like look at each other knowingly, and they start just leaving you there. They're just going to go. They don't, okay, cool. don't want to start a fight here with you, and they don't want to fight the big alligator. They're just going to get the hell out. Cool. Um, so I want to do one last thing. Okay. Uh, which are, it doesn't matter which one really. I I guess the one I've been talking to. Yeah. I want to lean in real close to him and just <clears throat> get a good whiff. Might be like you. You smell a little, a, a little bit like uh, like you scared of something. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. It, it ain't like I, I can track a mouse across the rocks or nothing and I can't find you in your sleep. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to get anything out of this. I'm just trying yeah. to scare him more. Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah. And now I know what he smells like, so he should be pretty easy to find. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, and they're, yeah, they just, they don't say anything. Um, and he's maybe a little creeped out by you smelling him. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Yeah, they're just up the road, and they're gone. It looks like they're headed back toward the docks. Cool. Um, but the two of you, you know, coming back together, I mean, Heracles knows where the guy is. Uh, you've met, presumably, some of his goons. Um, let's catch back up with Gorlin. Gorlin, so you, you tried to get into the club. And... Mm -hmm. They looked at you suspiciously, uh, obviously, and mm, I can try to get in through the back door. It's more of like a business kind of deal as well. Also, I okay, mind. that's what they demand. Okay, yeah, through in like the kitchen to be like, I'm going to sell you some food. Yeah. Uh. Are, are you literally just trying to sell your meat, or are you trying to actually get into the club? I'm trying to get some information. Okay. Sure. Yeah. They'll let you in. Uh, they look at you like you're 
uh, you know, a road wandering murder machine. Um, so they have pretty good judge of character. <laughs> and uh, they some you you see some guy out back just like taking out trash or something, and you ask him about selling meat, uh, and he like calls to somebody inside. Um, and uh, they say, "Yeah, some guy comes to the door, and he says, meat. What are you What are you talking about?" I show it to him. This is the best barbecue ever. Look, it's a little cooked. Look at the tenderness. S- still soft and edible. I like that it being edible is a selling point. <laughs> <laughs> Technically edible. <laughs> um, I mean, fuck it. Just yeah. taste a bit. Just taste a piece. I mean, he gets a whiff of it, and he sees it, and he says, that is a lot of beef you're carrying around in a bag. Uh, (laughs) He says, uh, you're going to have to leave all of your implements. What sort of implements? You mean the big hammer and... Yeah. All right, no worries. I'm a businessman uh, now, so... Right now, so no problem. Yeah, uh, he says, I... uh, Henry will keep an eye on your stuff. Let's look at your meat, I guess. I slap him his hand when he touches it. I say, don't, don't fumble it here. Just don't. Um, so there are people moving around. I mean, it's kind of early in the day. So they're like chopping and preparing. They're doing their, their mise en place. Um, and uh, yeah, he like clears off a table area, and he says, "Okay, let's let's see it." On the table, four units of personal feast. So like a lot of barbecue, basically, like big slabs of meat. But look, this is standard. This is well done. This is medium rare. This is rare. <laughs> look at it. Okay. Do you have a lot of charred meat? Um, and he's like tasting some of it. And he says, um, "Do you? Are you? Do you usually? I don't want to know." Ox. He says, "How much are you asking for this?" Hmm. <clears throat> Let's say twenty-five coins. The slap in a, a piece of meat. <laughs> um, I mean, twenty five is. It's not an unfair price. It should be forty, right? So, almost half price. Yeah, I mean that's a fair enough deal. Sure, he says. Um, he says, well, it's not rotten. Uh, so I suppose so. Give him a nod, yes. yes that's, that's good. Okay. Busy day today? Now, now, now I try to get some information. Right, now you try to get the goods. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're like getting the meat out of your bag um, so you can keep your grease stained bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. He's, uh, he's getting some coins together. Um, and you're just trying to small talk him now. Yep. Uh, okay, sure. He's like, uh, yeah, it's busy. It's busy every day. Um, we've got a lot of work. Mm. He says, the head chef, he's, uh, he's a taskmaster. The worst kind. I hate busy days. He says, this is a fine job. Pays the bills, right? Uh, more than. Um, mm. okay, you guys are you guys are chit chatting about your days and you're busy. Like, what kind of information are you trying to get from him exactly? 
uh, what kind of client clientele comes here? Uh, is there many businessmen? Because I'm clearly a businessman right now. I mean, yeah. Are you are you asking about a specific businessman? Are you, are you trying to find out about Denzeli? Are you? Yep, I'm looking for information about Denzeli. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna parlay. I think you've got oh. leverage already. The the pretense of of friendly business chatter. Uh, so go ahead and parlay. Get rid of for a six. <clears throat> he needs assurance. Yeah, he needs to know. Yeah, you, I mean, the, the question starts to veer toward particular people. Um, and he says, um, and he says, well, I, I can't give too much information about clientele. I mean, I don't even know who you are. You're just a, un, a, a, a person trying to sell meat to me. So I, it's a private club, you understand. It's because I'm a no, isn't it? No. You're a no? Yes. Yes, I am. Thank you for noticing. Mm. Well, I do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, and he says something. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I can't give you personal information about our private guests, I, unless you were, you know, a sheriff or something. Mm, not quite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it, yes, I am looking for a job. I am Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> I am Gorling, Ered, Urvaror, Ilse, Sunny, Ur Lemon. I need a job. <laughs> and he says, well, lots of people need a job. Um, I mean, you cook fine beef if you want to look at a job. Really? Uh, that's not... <clears throat> I mean to say, I need a job. I can work as security man. Oh, uh, well, that'd be a different department. Security for the club. Um, he says, I could maybe no, put you I in mean, touch. I mean the private private sector. I mean, that's why I'm asked. Denzeli man. I heard he always needs securities. Oh. He says, yeah, um, I don't deal in Denzeli's hiring, so I can't really help you with that. I mean, you're just a person. Um, like I said, you make fine beef, sir, but uh, I... Yeah, he would need... Right, he needs to know that you're a person of some kind, like an official person of some kind. Right? Yes. I yeah. say... Yes, no problem. I grab like a piece of paper and I write down. Look, this is why I'm. If you, if I'm around here, please remember me, because I might like to work as a chef. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how security is gonna go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, 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 I am a teacher, in the, in, in. in Sesta? I don't know if you heard of the city. Oh, I mean, he certainly has. Says on, he's certainly heard of it. Yes, yes. There you go. And I need the job as a... I need the job, so security is what I'm good at. He says, you never know. He says, I can, I can help you with the club. Um, you cook fine, so maybe we could do that, or I can see about getting you as a bodyguard. Um... Dinsley uh, does something dock-wise, so maybe you can find out about him there. What, what more assurance do I need to give this man? Well, you just told him you're a person from Cezanne, right? Yeah. And the information gives me that I should look in the docks. 
Well, that still makes you just a normal citizen. Oh. So he, he wants to know that I'm a master. That might do it. Right? Something okay. like that. If you were a constable, a sheriff, a nobleman, or a legendary color dancer of note. Okay. I might, I might bring that up in, in the small talk. I don't know how I would squeeze that in, but... Just, yeah. Have you heard of the temple? The Sesame Temple? That's where I teach uh, blacksmithing. At the, I'm, I'm the master... Master blacksmith or something. I don't know what the civilized people call this stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it helps. Um, he looks at the note. And he says, uh, Gordon, um, you mean the color dancers? Of course we know who the color dancers are. Oh, nice. Yes, I'm a master over there. They don't pay very well. <laughs> Just <so you know. laughs> he says, <laughs> he says a master of the color dancers is coming into my kitchen asking for work as a chef. In well, the I, future. <laughs> I guess you Look, did say bodyguard. What, what are you doing palling around with somebody like Dinsley? Oh, you can always learn something from these guys. Well, um... Not, not all... Not everything is what it appears to be, yes? Apparently not. Um, he says, well, the, the man is not here yet. It's early, but... I could put in a word for you. I could certainly get you into the club. Uh, well, Master Gorlin. Uh, perhaps... Okay. Perhaps you could meet him with your own means after that. Um... I know he works at the docks. He has a, a shipping company. I, I don't know many details about it other than that. But Does he come here often, like in a specific time? He says he does, in the evenings, um, for, for dinner. Oh, nice. Maybe you could let me talk to him at that time? He says, as I said, I, will, I can get you in the club. That's, that's good. If you go to Sesson... You can stay, maybe, in my quarters. He says, I can see the temple? Oh, the temple would be a grand sight. Yes, I can get you a room. Don't worry. (laughs) Chill, yeah? Chill. Hey, what what is the name of this club, Gorlin? The Drowning Goose. Yeah, yeah, I say something like, all right, but if my students come here, are you good to get them a, a job for, like, a spare hand if they are, like, in an excursion or something in this place? Oh, Look, says... my master told me that work is important. He says, so, perhaps, I, I can't speak for others, but... Having a master, master color dancer here would would certainly be something the that I could interest the owners in. I think. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, he says my name is Peter. Peter. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so I'll, I I write down a paper. Yeah, I'm gonna I keep your contact. Yeah. So. Can yeah. chat about business later. Maybe bring some color dancers to visit here. Okay, Carl. All right, Peter, the sous chef, <laughs> runs the kitchen during the day. <laughs> Very specific. Fair enough. Uh, so where are, you, where are you going, Gorlin, after that? Are you going to meet up back with your crew? Yeah, I'm going to give them the information I got. Okay. Yeah, you're probably coming back about the time that a, a throng of scared-looking sailors are running past you. Um, and Chuck is standing there with I, with that 
with that look on his face like, I just smelled somebody. <laughs> um, I don't know why you know that look. I seen him eating brains. It's creepy. Yeah, that's the same face. You're all creepy. I'm not. I just have a nice talk with the sushi. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, uh, let's take our second break there, and uh, maybe we can actually get on... Uh... Well, we're going to murder Dinsley, I'm sure you guys are, but that's fine. Um, so let's take five minutes. Five minutes, yeah? That's right. Do you right back. Thank you. 